For the Texas A&M football team, the offseason has been filled with saying goodbye to beloved players like Michael Hodges and top NFL draft prospect Vaughn Miller. You know, I line up sometimes, I look to my right. I mean, I don't like I don't hear him or nothing like that. My man gone, but you know, we got to we got to keep on moving. Me and Vaughn real close, you know, you know, I just feed off of his energy, you know, vice versa, you know, he make a great play, you know, celebrate, you know, just just to enjoy himself and just enjoy last year. It's hard it was like my brother, you know, but it's time for other people to step up now, you know. The Aggies have also been busy this off season with hosting several big junior days here at Bright to National Signing Day. Well, now the Texas A&M football team is back. The boys hit the fields today and concluded their first day of spring practice inside McFerrin Athletic Complex. A&M head coach Mike Sherman made it clear that all the guys will have to step up this spring. I've already talked to those guys who they need to step up if they want to jump for the spring and you know, before we get into this, I meet with every player and tell them where they're at and what they need to do. And they all know what's at stake. If they want a position in the two deep, they got to express themselves during spring ball. You know, we give them we give them 15 practices to 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 get it done, 15 days to get it done. And if they can't do it in 15 days, they're not going to do it in preseason. So. Uh, that's when we, we bring the freshmen in. They they get their chance at it. So and then we'll make a decision from there. Obviously, looking for a starting center, a backup quarterback. Uh, you know, a, a, every position. You know, we, we, I, I would like to think that any position, if a kid comes in and outshines the guy in front of him, he's going to be a, he's going to be the starter. So I would hope this competition at every position. Realistically, some guys are a little bit further ahead, and, and there's a, there's a better gap between them and the next guy, but. Uh, but I would hope that we'd have competition at every position. Every guy wants to be the starter. With several positions to be filled, anything can happen this spring. Coach Sherman was saying this morning that, uh, you know, this time last year we were installing a defense. And, uh, you know, our defense, you know, is picking up from, you know, where they left off in the season. They had a good year. A year ago we were coaching coaches on how to, you know, to coach the package, just getting to know guys. Not sure who, you know, I knew about 40, but the rest of them, I wasn't sure, you know, what kind of players they were, what, what you know, what they had in them. Uh, you know, I was telling our defense yesterday in our meeting, I said, look, guys, you know, Mike Hodges was a guy last spring. I was trying to find someone to beat him out because I didn't think he was good enough athletically, but he proved us wrong as coaches. And that's what, you know, spring's great about is guys are going to get opportunities to, to show us what they can do and we're going to get plenty of reps. Um, but, but back to your question, you know, day one, first practice, a heck of a lot better than a year ago because we've got you know eight starters back uh guys have been playing this package and so our retention was really good and we, we're we're not as clean as we need to be but you know we we, we had a pretty good field today this has been courtney Rowland for aggie ltv